Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Giant Robot News for today, Friday, February 4th, 2022. It's Friday. We got some news. Let's go ahead and get into it. First up, a recommendation. I suggest you all listen to WTF at TFW podcast episode 609. Vangelis brings on Mikey G. Wolf from the Moonbase 2 podcast. He is an actual paleontologist, and they discuss dinosaurs in Transformers. And I learned, uh, or I am learning, I'm still listening to it, a whole heck of a lot. Like, did you know a pterosaur was big? big enough to stare a T-Rex in the face. I didn't know that. And some other stuff that I didn't know, or actually my knowledge was way out of date. So if you can, if you have the time, it's an hour and 40, 40 minutes long, but it is well worth it, especially if you're a fan of Transformers and giant lizards. Okay, they're not lizards, they're giant old birds, but you know what I mean. Anyway, on to the news. First up in the news, we have Flame Toys Hound prototype images, or image, I should say. And it's Hound by way of Perceptor? It's really weird. Like, we've got this Hound that looks more like a War Within Hound. He's got that, and then he's got the, the little eyepiece, or the scouter, that Perceptor was wielding in the IDW comics. And then he's got a big old gun. So, yeah, Furi model Hound. Nifty. Next up, we've got our first look at Dr. Wood Ho Hoodley? Hoodley. It's a G1 roller color prototype. It's so tiny. It's so tiny. We're talking like micro machines or even smaller. It comes in blue or gray. It's so tiny. Roller re really needs some more love. When's the Masterpiece Roller coming out? That's what I want to know. Next up is some new Beast Wars reissues. First up from Demand Toys, we have Beast Wars Vintage Reissue Series, Cybershark. I, I did not expect us to get a Cybershark. This is probably one of my least favorite toys from the entire Beast Wars line. It's one of those toys, if you lo lose any of the accessories, the alt mode is just, it's nothing. It's literally a shell that the figure folds up into, the two accessories being the tail and the hammerhead, which is a shame, but this is kind of cool. We could be getting more Beast Wars figures. I'd love to see Man Terror, and I'd love to see Man Terror. Yeah, and I think Man Terror would be good as well. And continuing the vintage Beast Wars, we've got official images of Beast Wars Scorponok from the Hasbro Pulse, or I'm sorry, no, that's Walmart. 4197 and Tigatron. We already knew these guys were coming out. We already knew they are out technically. I'm going to have to pick up that Scorponok. I've never owned that original figure and I've always wanted to. Yes, I realize the figure isn't great and it's a very simple transformation, but I never had it and I still want it. And moving on to Transformers Legacy, we've got official images of Buzzsaw, Night Prowler, and Sandstorm. This is these. These pictures are care of these pictures are care of the fan first Friday that was today. And let's take a look at these images. Buzzsaw is exactly how we thought it was gonna look. And there are already reviews out for this figure. The packaging looks pretty darn cool. I really like the legacy packaging. Night Prowler looks good. The I, I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it, but I actually do really like the look of the figure. And then Sandstorm, again, looks good. I'm, I'm not picking this one up. I am not getting this because the one figure that is the biggest shelf warmer is Scorponok right now that I've seen. Lastly today, and the biggest news of the day, is we've got a bunch of figure or official reveals from the fans first Friday. So let's go ahead and talk about some of this stuff. First up, Beyond Reality. Transformers Beyond Reality is a VR experience. We mentioned this a few months ago, and it's finally going to get a launch date. March 31st is when they're saying it's going to be, but we don't know if that's actually accurate because Meta, aka Facebook's third generation of VR, is supposed to be out around that time. We'll see. Then there's Transformers Cross Top War, Darkness Falls. It's a mobile game tie-in. There's something called the Calm app. It's a wellness brand for meditation, and they have a Transformers crossover with Peter Cullen as Optimus Prime. Weird. 
Then there was some comic book talk. I won't get into that because this channel doesn't really talk much about comic books, unfortunately. So here's the Top War. Again, mobile game, Prime, Bumblebee, classics Bumblebee from, you know, 2010. Starscream, Megatron. That's the Calm app. Comic book stuff, cool. RC. Now, these are only stock photos, but RC is looking good. I love the way this robot mode looks. And that bike mode, it's its actually more of a three-wheeler than a motorcycle. It really is. It's so cool. I am so happy that RC is getting a figure that isn't, you know, kind of butt. This, I am just super excited to get a hold of this figure. And we're getting an Ironhide. Surprise to no one. Ironhide looks very good. That robot mode and that red and the gray look phenomenal. And then we've got the rest of the figure in vehicle mode. It looks good. I like it. I really like it. Here's Junk Heap. And these pictures are care of Toy, Toy Arc for some reason. Junk Heap looks good. I, there are already reviews out of this figure. And then Sludge. We're finally getting Sludge. And I am so excited. Leader class Sludge. Cannot wait. No, this isn't a very good sauropod mode, sauropod mode, but I don't care. I, I'm i so happy for it, but his gun stores on his belly. That's so weird. He can only shoot things from the left-hand side of his, of his, of that mode. And we're not getting another, like, minifigure. Oh, well. And here's the beast, or the legacy figures we talked about again, or talked about earlier. And then Transformers Red Knockout looks, well, it's a knockout for sure. It looks, or it looks super cool. It does. I really think it looks good. And then Ultra Magnus is just a prime. And we're finally getting a Cybertron version of Bumblebee, or what is it, B127? Cool. Cool. That That's an interesting mold. That is a really interesting mold. And we're getting a better cliff jumper. Now, the Earthrise cliff jumper mold was fine. I had my problems with it, but the biggest problem was all the black. And look, they actually painted it in a way that it makes the figure look really good. Dang, Nabbit. I know we've talked about this before, but dang, Nabbit. And there's Cup. Eh, Cup's fine, whatever. And that's it. That's it for the Fan First Friday. I, I would really like Hasbro to, you know be on their ball a little bit more about all these leaks early and I mean we're not just talking early we're talking months early but there's nothing I can do about it nothing you can do about it and I don't know if there's anything they can do about it either now ah, who cares I want that sludge so bad all right everybody that is the news for today Friday February 4th 2022 thank you so much for watching let me know what you think of all these news items down in the comments. What do you think of the Fan First Friday? Was it everything you wanted? Did you want to see more? Or did you not care? Let me know. I hope you have a wonderful weekend, and I'll catch you all on Monday.